Would you like to know what software engineering should be? Yeah? Listen to this. That is software engineering. Or to be more precise, that's what it should be. There are instruments, there are notes, there are musicians, and there is a conductor. Everything is in harmony. As long as we understand who should do what. Unfortunately, more often than not, we do something very, very different. I'll take a quick, very quick break here to introduce you to High Velocity, the sponsor of this video. It is a cloud hosting provider that offers a wide range of services to meet the needs of businesses of essentially all sizes. They offer a variety of hosting plans, including dedicated servers, virtual private servers, and cloud servers. It is simple, fast, reliable, and secure. And here comes the best, truly the best part, the price. They're probably one of the cheapest, if not the cheapest, provider of virtual private servers on the market. So, if you need servers at a good price, and everybody does, please check them out and let me know what you think. Thank you, High Velocity, for sponsoring this video. And now let's get back to where we were. When I started my career, Everything was simple, at least when compared with what we do today. I learned Pascal. Imagine Pascal. I brought code. I learned how to test it myself. I learned how to package it and deploy it myself. When I needed a database, I learned how to install it and manage it myself. When something went wrong, I learned how to fix it myself. I was a one-man band. I did it all. That was 30 years ago. The world changed since then. It changed a lot. The systems got bigger and more complex. As a matter of fact, soon after my humble beginnings, the systems became so complex that no single person could know everything there is to know to manage everything. As a result, we started specializing. Some of us became backend developers while others specialized in frontend development. Some became networking experts, while others learned everything there is to learn about virtualization. We got security experts and we got database administrators. We can think of those specializations being similar to those in an orchestra. If we exclude Goofy, no single person can play all instruments at the same time. We need a group of people, each playing a different instrument. None of those instruments sound particularly good in isolation. But when all of them are played together in harmony, we get something wonderful. We get a concert. I always saw myself something of an orchestra conductor in software engineering, or at least that's what I wanted to be. But I couldn't. There was often no orchestra. You see, unlike music, software industry thought that each specialty should operate in isolation. We would form a group of security experts and assign them a manager that would oversee their activities and define goals that are tightly related to security. We did the same with testers, with infrastructure, with networking, with virtualization, with databases, and so on and so forth. If I would continue with the analogy of an orchestra, there would be a conductor for violins, another one for drums, yet another one for trombones, and so on and so forth. Each of them would practice their own part in isolation. Then, when the night of the concert comes along, when they are supposed to deliver a symphony to those who paid tickets to listen to the concert, well, the end result would be a complete disaster. An orchestra that does not perform together, but rather has a bunch of smaller groups that play in isolation, can sound good only to deaf people. Yet, 
That is precisely what we expect from software. We expect different experts to work in isolation and then to stitch it all together at the very last moment and hope for the best. Hope that our customers will like it. Think about that for a moment. Try to forget everything you know and do and think about that orchestra. They need to work together as one big organism with each of them being an organ of that organism. Just as a human body has specialized organs that fulfill their functions only within the context of the whole body, an orchestra is good only when all individuals perform in tandem with each other, with all others. It's all about making music and not random sounds coming from instruments. Why don't we do the same in software industry? Do we need, for example, database administrators? Yes, we do. Do we need them outside of application development teams? Well, sometimes we do, but more often than not, we don't. So, it's both yes and no. They should be teams on their own, yet also integral parts of uh, application teams. And I know, that's confusing, so I'll explain that in a moment. For now, let me stress that I will be using databases as an example which can be applied to any other specialized discipline in software industry. Database administrator or DBA working alone or as part of a specialized team is similar to a musician that never practices with the rest of the band or an orchestra. He's great or she's great. She's the best. She sounds great but she's not in tune with the rest of the orchestra. Her music does not contribute to the music of the band. She is a solo artist. DBAs are similar when they work in isolation. You can open a Jira ticket asking for a database server and you will get it eventually. You might need a silly change to a database schema and you'll get it eventually. You might need schema changes to be part of the delivery pipeline, but that might not happen since the pipeline is in the application repo and the schema is somewhere else. You might need to go through hoops to get a similar database server and schema working on your local development environment because it's somewhere else. Management of the database is done by a different team and that team prefers keeping their stuff separate from your stuff. Those are different orchestras, different bands, practicing in different rooms. That is not the team. That is not a team. It's just a bunch of teams working in isolation and hoping that harmony will appear automatically. A database belongs to an application. That application cannot work without that database. The team must include that database in everything it does. The team must own the database and the schema and everything else related to that application. Now, many will not agree with what I said. There are many, many reasons why I am wrong. The complexities of managing databases are so big that only a dedicated team can handle it. It's like a divine music that cannot be interrupted by other instruments. That's wrong. That's terribly wrong. Great orchestras are about harmony that can be accomplished only through constant joint practice of the whole team. Take a look at this. Does that look like a user-facing definition of an application? If you say yes, I believe you're wrong. You're terribly wrong. I believe that you, just as me, are in a Kubernetes bubble. I think that you probably understand what all those things mean, but that very few in your company share the same understanding. That is not a definition of an application, but rather a number of low-level resources that very few understand and even fewer care about. Let's get back to the orchestra. Here's an important fact. Musicians need instruments. Without instruments, there is no orchestra. Only specialist people can make instruments. They're made somewhere else. And the process of making them does not depend on the music the orchestra is planning to play. Instruments need to fulfill a specific function. They need to produce specific sounds through specific actions. They need to fulfill the needs of their users, which obviously are musicians. You can think of me as the one making those instruments. Here's one that enables people to create and manage databases in AWS Azure and Google Cloud. I'm using Crossman compositions for that, but the story would be the same 
with other similar tools. The important part is that those resources are not the instruments. There is a VPC, a few subnets, a subnet group, a gateway, a route, table, a route, route associations, security groups, RDS, which is the database server itself, some configurations, the database that should be created in the server, another configuration, and the secret with the credentials. That is not an instrument. Those are the things that most musicians do not care about. They become instruments when they are assembled together, which in my case happens when those resources are wrapped into compositions and packaged into cross-plane configurations and deployed to a cluster. Take a look at this instead. Those are the instruments. Those are the violins. One can choose the one that works the best in a given venue where the concert will be performed. I won't go into details about crossplane since I already uh, covered them quite a few times in quite a few videos, so check them out. No matter which tools you choose, what matters is that you have to convert low-level resources into something meaningful to the end users. You need something similar to instruments and not the material that constitutes those instruments. Now, every musician will tell you that instruments are not good out of the box. They need to be fine-tuned to produce just the sound we want. Over here, I am declaring that I do not want just any database server. I want it to be in AWS and I want it to be PostgreSQL. It should be a specific version and the size should be bigger than small and smaller than big. This is me being a musician and preparing for the concert. This is me fine-tuning an instrument made by someone else. This is me being a developer and using the service created by a database administrator. This is me, a person who does not know nor care about all the gritty, nitty details required to run a database, yet a person who wants to run a database. This is how collaboration between different teams should work. Members of one team create services consumed by members of other teams. In our world, making instruments is equivalent to making services. It is low-level work that ends up in the hands of the end users. Now we can truly separate one group from another. Every team should provide the service to its customers. If you're the team of DBAs, your service can be a way to manage databases, uh, database schemas, and whatever else you can provide. Services are a way to convert your expert knowledge, your expertise into something that can be used by others. You are not playing in the band. You are making instruments. Now, if you can also play those instruments, oh boy, that would be awesome. That would allow you to join the orchestra, the band. That would make your band similar to Kraftwerk. Not only that their music was amazing, but they also constructed quite a few instruments they used to make their music. I just realized that uh, talking about Kraftwerk probably resulted in you not understanding the reference at all and only proves that I'm very, very old because these days nobody knows about Kraftwerk, right? Moving on. Instruments are not enough either. We need to play those instruments. We need notes. We need the score. In our industry, notes are equivalent to code. And when I say code, I mean something that can be interpreted by a machine. That's the code of our applications, that's the schema in our databases, that's everything we write that makes the system feel like a symphony. Here's an example. That schema can be considered a score. Those are the nodes. We are not playing them just yet. As a matter of fact, we humans might never, never play them. But we'll get to that in a moment. Uh, by the way, that manifest uh, is Atlas uh, schema that's using Atlas operator, which I will not cover here because I covered it in that video over there, so check it out. Atlas operator. Cool tool. Now, other experts will come back to you and tell you to forget all that. What is the point of having an orchestra when you cannot open the door of the venue where you are supposed to be playing? Security will not let you in. You will never be able to access the concert hall or, in case of software, the production environment. Well, we don't have to. You don't have to. That's why we have GitOps. 
There is no need to get the key to the concert hall. There is no need to be there physically. We are streaming the concert and that stream is pulled into the concert hall. Make a PR, preview it, merge it to the main line and you're done. Or in my case, because I'm brave, I will just push it directly to the main line. So here it goes. Let's go. I will copy the files we discussed to the apps directory. That is the directory that Argo CD is monitoring. Then I will add, commit and push the changes and that's it. The concert can start, right? Well, we're missing one key persona. We need a conductor. We need a person that will coordinate all the musicians. We need someone or something that will make sure that the concert starts at the right time, that the right instruments are playing, that the tempo is just right, and so on and so forth. And now we're getting back to the previous comment when I claimed that we might never play the instruments. That's the job of machines. Our instruments are processes running on servers. We humans construct those instruments. We fine tune them and we write the notes. But the actual playing is done by machines. Not only that, but the conductor is also a machine. Today, that conductor is Kubernetes. Its job is to orchestrate everything. It decides what to play and where to play it. We call it orchestration. It might decide to bring in more violins and to remove some drums. That's what we call scaling. It's in charge of all the musicians, of all the processes. Let me show you the result. Those, those over there, those are the instruments. And those, right now, that you see here, those are the components that constitute those instruments. And that over there, that's Kubernetes, that's the conductor. And finally, those are the rooms of the concert hall. All in all, experts in different fields should construct instruments. Those are the services that enable others to do their jobs. They can be services that enable database management, application management, cluster management, or anything else. Application developers are those who fine tune instruments by defining instances of those services. They are also the ones who compose symphonies by writing code or schemas or whatever else is needed to make the system behave in a certain way. Machines are acting as musicians. They're playing the notes on the instruments. Finally, Kubernetes is the conductor. It is making sure that everything is in harmony. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Cheers.